Hello students, let us try to understand the you know, uh, rearrangement in the carbocation students. You know? We are going to understand rearrangement in the carbocation. Whether it is hydride shift or methyl shift or phenyl shift, these all types of shifting we are going to understand in this type of, you know, in this topic. So, when you talk about the rearrangement in the carbocation, dear student, you see that is there occur, okay, what occur student, there occur, okay rearrangement okay rearrangement in carbocation okay in carbocation okay so why that is there occur rearrangement in carbocation to acquire stability okay to acquire stability this is what is our point students okay that we have to understand so student what we have to do here we, we the order of stability if you are knowing here student that is stability of carbocation this is the three degree is there okay so three degree carbocation is more stable then what is there student this is the two degree carbocation okay here is hydrogen and here is ch3 then it is that is the another is there one degree you know ethyl carbocation you know here is the hydrogen is there downside hydrogen is there this is positive charge and finally that is the methyl carbocation is there okay so this is the you know decreasing order of stability you know decreasing order of stability okay so dear student how we explain the you know stability order more the number of alpha hydrogen right more the number of alpha hydrogen more greater is the stability you can find out here alpha hydrogen is uh, no, 3 3 6 3 9 so 9 alpha hydrogen are there here you can see out how many are there 6 alpha hydrogen here is 3 alpha hydrogen here is 0 alpha hydrogen right so what is that is student that is number of you know number of alpha hydrogen proportional to okay number of hyperconjugation okay number of hyper conjugation and proportional to what student proportional to stability so this is what is the order which we have to follow dear students right so now let us let us move out the one problem student you know shifting okay so we are going for the you know shifting so how many shifting are there suppose it is it is the first point is there hydride shift you know so dear student whenever you are talking about hydride shape it is always one to two position you know this is one two hydride shift this is there one two hydride shift next one is there what is there student methyl shift that is what is known as methyl shift and this methyl shift is also one two methyl shift ch3 minus shift okay and last one is phenyl shift okay so these are the only shifting occur in student phenyl shift so in the phenyl shift what is there student 1 2 i know ph minus shift 1 2 ph minus shift these are the shifting right student now the first point let us have the hydride shift first of all we are going to understand that is hydride shift hydride shift dear students so dear student in the case of hydride shift what is happening let us try to understand in this case one example i am taking ch3 this is CH2 okay and here is what is there student another CH2 this is the positive charge um, now this is student this is the one degree carbocation this point is what is student one degree carbocation but one degree carbocation here what the order we find student three degree more stable okay this is the three degree then two degree then one degree and then methyl carbocation um, now this is the one degree what possibilities is there what possibilities is there student so possibilities let us try to understand the possibilities okay see yes this is the alpha hydrogen okay and <coughs> if you see the position alpha hydrogen how it will going to the get rearranged student so ch3 is there ch here is hydrogen will be there and this is the ch2 this is the positive charge so total hydrogen hydride h minus will be going to shift here so what is that is we can write that is one two hydride shift so one two hydride shift student one two hydride shift now you see 
how the compound is being formed. This is CS3, then CH, here will be positive charge and here will be what is student that is, this is the CH3. Um, now this is 2 degree carbocation, okay, 2 degree carbocation. So how this 2 degree, we know that 2 degree carbocation is more stable than 1 degree carbocation. So to acquire the stability, it undergoes the hydride shift students okay similarly let us let us try to understand another compound students okay here what is we are going to explain that is the methyl shift okay this is the we are going to understand that is methyl shift students now students when you talk about the methyl shifts let us go with the you know example suppose we are having this is the compound okay this is the you know this is the CH3 here, this is also CH3 here and this is the CH2 positive charge students, okay. So, up now this is the also 1 degree carbocation, this compound is 1 degree carbocation, right student. Up now you know students that is the order of stability, 3 degree carbocation is more stable than the 2 degree carbocation than the 1 degree carbocation, right. So what will happen in this process, in this process, total process, what is going to happen student, this methyl carb group is going to shift here, okay. So how the compound is going to be formed student, it is going to 1 to methyl shift will talk, you know, 1 to methyl shift will occur. So if if total this bond together, it is going to be shift student, this, meth, this two electron is going to shift together. So what the compound you are going to get here that is CS3, this is C, here is CS3, this is CH2, again CH3 and here will be the positive charge. Um, now this is the 3 degree carbocation student, 3 degree carbocation. So uh, um, now you can see why this rearrangement is going to take place because to give the get the stable configuration, stable carbocation so this is the highly stable and this is one degree is already you know that is less stable so here is you are watching out a student that is what is the case of that is stability case is what is that is three degree carbocation is more stable than the one degree for that process what is happening here that is methyl shift taking place now let us have an example of that is what is student that is phenyl shift okay you can go for the phenyl shift so what uh, how the phenyl shift we can understand suppose we are having ph student then again that is we are having ph again here we are having the ph and this is the ch2 positive charge so this is 1 degree carbocation dear student this is the 1 degree carbocation um, now we need to have the stability so stability means 1 to phenyl shift we are going to do okay because this is one degree carbocation this is the less stable student this is the very very less stable so what will happen this total phenyl group is going to shift here so let us try to understand what kind of the intermediate is being formed ph will be there then c here is ph and here is ch2 and here is again ph and this is the carbocation so this become three degree uh, no, benzylic carbocation student, benzylic carbocation, okay. Up now 3 degree benzylic carbocation is there and in this case there is a resonance is also there. So it will be what student that will be the more stable. So this is all about the methyl shift, hydride shift and phenyl shift dear student. Up now let us try to understand some more uh, no, um, questions students, okay. One question which, uh, no, which we are having the question is there okay uh, explain the rearrangement question is something there explain the rearrangement in following rearrangement in following so if this is our required question student they are asking that is we have to explain the rearrangement in the following so what is the question is there here is ch3 is there then here is hydrogen is there and here is ch3 and this is CH2 positive charge, right student? And they are asking that is one degree carbocation is there. They are asking that is whether it will be that is hydride shift or the phenyl shift student, uh, hydride shift or methyl shift like that the question is there. Up order when you are talking about that is migratory order dear student that also you keep in mind. 
you know migratory order okay so what is the migratory order dear students migratory order is there h minus then another will come that is student ph minus then ch3 minus then 3 degree carbocation then 2 degree then 1 degree okay and finally okay finally if you talk about that is methyl carbocation okay this is the methyl carbocation so this is what is something the migratory order dear student that you have to keep in mind right so these are the migratory order Ab now students if you talk about this case you know this compound so i am explaining in another place suppose possibility is there suppose it is going to hydride shift then what will happen so here migratory order is what is there this is the this is the h plus is there students okay so this is what it is going to be this is what is going to be okay this is going to be rearranged okay because this is the priority order is hydride one is there so let us see okay what the question is something is there this is ch3 this is c here is hydrogen downside ch3 and here is what is there student ch2 positive charge right so here if you are going so firstly what i am going to do i am shifting the this one okay here so that is i am doing one to h minus shift one to h minus shift so let us see student what is going to be formed c here is ch3 this is ch3 so this is what is happening 3 degree carbocation this is forming 3 degree carbocation dear student 3 degree carbocation and this is what is 1 degree carbocation now if if suppose you in spite of shifting this you shift you might have shifted the another methyl shift so here you see you know here is hydro, hydrogen ch3 this is the ch2 positive charge and here is what we are going to do 1 to methyl shift we are talking about 1 to methyl shift so what what the group is going to be happen you see if it is going to happen so it will give the compound cs3 this is ch positive charge and here is ch2 and ch3 so this is 2 degree carbocation dear student this is the 2 degree carbocation up now you know the order of carbocation 3 degree carbocation is more stable than the 2 degree carbocation than the 1 degree carbocation so which is our correct this is the more stable this is the stable major okay this will be the our major intermediate compared to this one so this is not the correct students right now is to dear students let us have a look out one more you know uh, problem okay so dear students if you talk about the problem on the basis of this so what that is the heading we are putting that is extended okay extended shifting okay extended shifting and question they are asking student that is ch3 is there this is ch here is ch3 then this is the ch2 and that is ch2 positive so that is they are asking that is what could be our required product dear students okay what could be our required product so shifting is only possible that is one two shifting is possible not more than that okay so dear student okay let us let us do the solution here we are having that is ch3 then ch here will be that is ch3 this is ch here is h and this is the ch2 so what we are going to do that is 1 to h minus shift hydride shift so in this case what will happen dear student this total h minus is going to be shift here on this carbocation okay so now what the what the intermediate is going to be formed so it is ch3 this is ch downside ch3 this is the ch this is the positive charge dear student and here is the ch3 okay so this is now that is this become the two degree carbocation a dear student if this carbocation can come here so what will happen this can be the three degree carbocation so again shifting is possible here okay again so what shifting is one two hydride shift is you know again possible student two second time so what will happen this h minus is going to be shift here 
so let us see the compound student how the compound is being formed this is ch3 this is c this is ch3 here is the positive charge dear student here is ch2 and ch3 so this is the 3 degree carbocation student ab you know very well that is 3 degree carbocation is more stable than the 2 degree carbocation dear student so that you have to keep in mind that is how the shifting will be taking place in the carbocation means that is the shifting of carbocation is possible until the most stable carbocation formed student so this is all about the rearrangement in carbocation and methyl phenyl and hydride shift student thank you so much for watching dear friends